Welcome to another tutorial video from Tullamats. Make sure and subscribe for more. In this video, we are going to look at finding the mean and standard deviation from your Casio calculator. Before you do anything, you must clear or reset your calculator. So follow these uh, instructions first of all, if you're unsure. So first thing you do is you press the shift key on your calculator, which is located on the top left hand corner. Then you're pressing the nine key. So you're basically following the online instructions. Then you press the one followed by equals and then it'll ask you to confirm by pressing the AC button. So it's shift nine and then follow the online instructions. So that's clearing your calculator before we go off and find the mean and standard deviation. So here's our example. Find the standard deviation from this list of five numbers. Now, if you wanna see how to find the mean from a list of numbers by using our formula on page 33 of our log tables, check the other video. It includes the same numbers, but here we are gonna find the standard deviation a quicker way by simply using our Casio calculator. So first thing you've done, you do now after clearing your calculator is press the mode button on your calculator. And I've circled it there in red if you can't find it. You then press the two key on your calculator, which clicks statistics. You then click the one key on your calculator, which says one dash ver, so one variable in other words. Now you input all of the details, each of the numbers, into that little table, but make sure after you input each value, you click the equal sign. So I'm going to go 600 equals 470 equals 170 equals 430 equals 300 equals. You should see that they have all input into that table and then you hit the AC button. You should then notice that your calculator brings you back to zero. Now I want to find the mean and standard deviation. So in order to find them, you hit the shift key on your calculator, top left hand corner, I've highlighted it there in red on the image. You press the one key and you will then see four saying VAR for variable, click on four. Up comes four options. In order to get the mean, it's the X with the little line above it. So you're clicking on the two on your calculator. If you click on two and hit your equals, it will show you a mean of 394. If you now wanna find your standard deviation, just clear your calculator by pressing the on button. You're back to zero. Now I follow those instructions once again. I click on the shift key, one, four for variable. And instead of clicking two for mean, I'm clicking three for standard deviation. So click on three, hit your equals, and you should get 147. So that's a quick way by using your calculator in order to find the mean and the standard deviation from your calculator. So just to recap that last little part, when you're trying to find the values of the mean and the standard deviation from your calculator, once you've input the data, you have to click on the shift button, then the one, and then the four. You then have two options. Which one do you wanna find? Is it the mean you're trying to find? or is it the standard deviation you're trying to find? You have to do them separately. So you click two for mean or three for standard deviation. Thank you for watching another tutorial video from Tullamats. Make sure and subscribe.